Yeah, back in uh, 90, 95, 94, 93, this place was all over. This place was Milan Kuchan with the police here, everywhere here. They went completely insane. Uh, it started with descending me through here like this there is actually still a path here this path here is still a path here if you see hold on still something like a pathway like so that you can go down it yeah, let me see maybe like this uh, you can it, it's still like you can see it right there and then you can see it right there it's where it's walk through right through here I knew it I was there already and there is a path down there of course and that's a ramp yeah sometimes they would take me through the ramp too I can demonstrate you that I'm talking about the police, neighbor Miroslav Berger. And I'm talking about 91, oh, I fucked that 93 and so on. Right after I finished school education. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Obviously I'm at home right now and I'm talking about exactly this neighbor here. Uh, that was a uh, say KGB or wood by individual right here, right behind our house, right here, this one here. This must be a fucking nightmare for these people because they so much instigated and what is it uh, video recording the neighbors and so on. Um the year was maybe even 1989, definitely was 1990, I am not absolutely sure 1989 or 1990 it was, with uh, his son, Alish Berger, uh, Robert Golop, a good old company of Milan Kuchan. Uh, something to what in post-war war Germany they refer to that as a Hitler Junge and that was be Milan Kuchan Junge Nurse Janko police investigators they had Kuchan had a young people, a lot of young people around himself yeah, the man that I demonstrated you whose house uh, would travel on a weekly basis to Belgrade. This was as good as Kuchan. This is Milan Kuchan here, worse than Kuchan maybe. Anticipated at one point would even become a Yugoslav president. Miroslav Berger is his name. And uh, this video might not be intimidated about video recording the neighbors anymore at all because the goal here is to overthrow the, poli uh, the police station Novo Mesto. My goal is to deliver people at the Novo Mesto police station and trial the police officers, police investigators in front of the military court preferably because it's not the police. Psychiatrist Peter Kopsch stated me, well, you know, a police interferes anywhere in the world, wherever they see somebody doing something strange and, you know, whether they catch him with the drugs or whatever they do. It's a normal thing that interfere with the people like this to maybe even cleans the society to keep the society clean or whatever um, not only I have not taken any drugs ever in my life I never smoked 
I didn't even drink coffee until I was age 37. Never drink any alcohol. But the thing is that this type of um, They, they, they try to stash this into some kind of um, and issues because it, it applied also to equal employment opportunity in the US into reverse discrimination but there's nothing you can you can reverse here in this case because I don't have anything uh, it was so bad that I had nothing uh, it was back in the day that these police officers that this police investigators, all these Milan Kuchanis, uh, young communists, uh, they, they complained about my having all this, you know, he's just so young, till they realize I don't have anything other than uh, the room uh, three by three right there, you know, uh, that's all there was, and so then Soon, when Slovenia became independent, they didn't know anymore what to do with the money because their salaries were so abundant. Some started to regret. Others didn't know what the fuck to do with it. Uh, the thing is, it was the lives they had, really lives, abundant. It was since I remember them, Tanya Fayon, Borat Pahar, all these people, all this circle, Robert Golob that circulated around Milan Kuchan. These people lived lives of kings, princes. In Ljubljana, they would go from house to house, from any fucking house almost they could choose to stay in during their studies in Ljubljana. Then they started to play with the real estate and all kinds of stuff you possibly cannot imagine vacationing and so on so this reverse discrimination just didn't come to play and so they have to invent some kind of corrective action something that we have to do with the police and so they engage police because they because they engage police in a total violence brutality they were using police to enforce violence um, Till they no longer could possibly lie. And when they no longer could possibly lie, believe it or not, at age 40, they threw me inside of the psychiatry hospital. They removed these old violent police officers from the picture and they installed themselves brand new police officers who started to run uh, some kind of a corrective education, if you like, um, environment. Uh, giving me all sorts of tips during the torture, however, a different type of torture during which they would not even be on the picture. And instead, I would be next to them here and there, they would post next to me. Uh, while they no longer would directly engage in violence, they were still using, just let's say, psychiatrist Peter Kovch, who was using literally torture. from psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia. I mean, medications, all kinds of stuff they used. Uh, I'm not gonna forget when I didn't go on a toilet for three days and I had to pull the excrement out of my own, uh, I don't know how you, Cerevesia, uh, Danka, in English right now, it just doesn't come to me. Uh, such a pain from the psychiatric medications that I, not that I couldn't move jaw, I barely was moving jaw, I barely was walking and pain was so excruciating that I was asking my mom to actually even tie me to the bed because I thought it's not, I'm not gonna make it without losing my mind from the pain, from the suffering. You can imagine what this is? This is what he was using later on to justify ongoing terror stalking mass stalking with the police through the use of the police and the police 
once a new police got on the picture, new police officers, they were using the past of the police officers, Milan Kucha and Yusin's brutality with the Osip Brosita since my childhood, with Russians to do violence from, how to, from house to house, throughout this village, throughout this city, through every fucking village in this country, from house to house, to justify, to give me, they no longer could directly threaten me or engage in a terror, but they would remind of what went on and just give me a dirty looks and stuff like this. So, the correct to action uh, like this, they're in MK Ultra, you're not supposed to do one. There is, because this is not a corrective action. This is very criminal, hijacking, uh, torture, physical torture. This is not ice cream, as these people try to portray this as. Uh, and secondary, this didn't go for one month or two months or six months. One year or five years or ten years or 30 years, it went for over 50 years. Going even before the Slovenian independence, even before 1991. Set the record straight about intentional ethnic cleansing genocide, firm genocide procedure. That's why you're gonna see this house, you're gonna see me walking from house to house in this village. And it's not a fucking thing you can do about it. You can even put me in the jail if you want. You can even do that, but I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back until this stuff is going to clear itself out, until every police officer from Novo Mesto Police Station goes to trial and responds for this bestial criminal ethnic cleansing procedures. What this video is really about we moved to this place and they follow us really from the city. This is the way it was. My father was sure he got away from the city where we were just so that all this apparatchik would go and surround our house basically. This video is about this stuff here, which I titled, Here is how Milan Kuchan got assignment from Josip Broz Tito, Russian Kremlin and Serbian Belgrade to get me killed via poisoning, teeth, spine, breaking psychiatry. So this should definitely be interesting because it goes into, it goes into totally, goes totally, totally to details. And as much as novel master police was hoping how we are going to have together, yeah, together with a lawyer, uh, Slovenian president, let me demonstrate you. If I get the internet here. Okay, so it's time for me to go upstairs anyways. As much as uh, Slovenian president, she hoped for and she was selected because by profession she is attorney. She was literally selected by Borut Pahor. I mean, literally selected by Borut Pahor. And as much as she hoped for... As much as she hoped for with her leftists, uh, as much as Natasha Pierce moves are hoped for, you know, that this whole thing together with her with a so-called Slovenian left-wing, you know, she's a lawyer by profession. Um, let's see if we can get some of this. 
uh, jokers. So well, we can get some. We can get here Massets. We can get here uh, Robert Golob, let's say Prime Minister Robert Golob. That's what they regard themselves as. I, I wouldn't even give a. I, I, uh, if you ask me, I, I wouldn't smell him. I mean, I got everything I needed to see who is what is. I mean, I wouldn't get shit about any of these people. This guy eventually forced me, compelled me during what supposedly would be meeting with the Milan coach at one point in time, with Milan coach and totally missing the appointment, and he was other occasions raping me, compelling me to answer one a question whether I see Milan Kuchan or not. And as I repeatedly inquired about Milan Kuchan, could not see one. He continued to rape me, asking me whether I see Milan Kuchan or not and ridicule me as per how do I do not see Milan Kuchan. The same shit, the same technology as the police officers did, used all along. Till I told one, till I replied one, yeah, yeah, of course I see it. I wouldn't give a three fuck about any of these uh, Slovenian politicians. I'm not here to advocate Slovenian crime anymore. You see, things have to go forward. And with these people, it just cluster fucks. It uh, simply rolls over and it doesn't go anywhere in the past simply is resurfacing and hunting us all down. Yeah, I would like to see some of these people. I see them. Yeah. Uh, it's just gonna have to wait for some other time and I I don't there's every every parliamentarian every person in the parliament every individual since the beginning of Slovenia was involved in this stuff so you must understand for me in particular this stuff is painful to consider involved in a torture let me explain let me be detailed about this. Involved in torture. It wasn't only house to house, village to village, city to city. This video is about why, who, why, how come this stuff happened? Why? Why this type of stuff? What you're about to see, what you're about to witness on a video. Why was Novo Master Police doing this kind of stuff? Finally, who are the Novo Master Police, the so-called police officers? They're the same people that enforced genocide procedure against me since the beginning of the time, since Josip Broz Tito, who started all this stuff. These are completely the same people. And the second thing is, these are not police officers, but these are the politicians. This, are, this is a private army of assassins who serve interests of Belgrade in Slovenia. Me, considering myself as a native here, I'm going to say against the natives. However, I have not seen any kind of compassion from the natives other than this kind of stuff. <laughs> And you have to forgive me that I don't see these people as the natives here. We have uh, natives in Slovenia, young people, wasting their lives like this. That means I'm different. That means I'm not part of them. That means they're not part of me. That means we don't have nothing in common. That means they have a different path they have chosen over the one Slovenian people have chosen in 91. 
That's a part of the civilized nations inside of the European Union and in NATO. And their needs, as you see right there, differ completely from mine. We don't have nothing in common, really, with one another. As this picture, what is this is going to, I wouldn't give a three fuck about what you see here. To me, this is worthless. In a normal country, a police station, such as a novel master, where they eventually believe that through some kind of dialogue, that's basically me with myself, to myself, while presenting myself at the police station, somebody is compliant with the law, with some kind of law and ideals of the civilized people, we eventually would come to uh, agreement, truth, if you like, uh, or maybe justice. However, I have declined to acknowledge novel master police officers, police stations of police officers, and instead acknowledging them as an army of the, I'm not going to even say private assassins, but those who went on, in my case, personally, to kill me since my childhood. It's an ethnic cleanser. This is a classic Belgrade, Russian, Moskvich, Moscow uh, army of assassins. Slovenia, a Kaliningrad number two, literally in the center of the Europe. This video so the novel master police station understands understands and this field here that I'm not the one who's being judged it's you who's being judged Slovenia is independent since 1991 that's 33 years. But the memories on extermination procedure during Yugoslavia, the memories on uh, murderers employed at the Novo Mesto police station, uniformed in a blue uniformed uniforms murderers with the police badges on their chests, did not fade away. To the degree that I would consider them as a, actually as a some form of law enforcement, as some form of law, as somebody legitimate or anything like this. Never lowered myself to this level, and now, now it's time for us to straight the bill. Zdaj je prišel čas da mi obračunamo med sebojno, iz oči v oči, iz ust. Brez skrivanja, brez skrink, pred mednarodnimi sodišči, pred evropskim sodiščom, pred FBI-om, pred evropsko policijo. Zdaj je prišel čas, da se vidimo iz oči, iz oči. Ni prišel prej, je pa vseeno prišel. Čeprav ste mislili, da ne bo nikoli prišel. This is what this case is all about. If somebody wants to know the part about the poisoning, where the poisoning, how the idea about me being killed through the psychiatry, through the poisoning, where was it born? This is exactly the matrix of it right here. And it, it's, it's architect of this genocide who was entrusted to run this genocide against me, 
This is Bord Pahor, Milan Kuchan, Robert Golob, people who partially I have mentioned to you and naturally quite, yes, indeed more than anybody, Novo Mesto police station, where not the police officers are working, but the politicians are employed. We have a politicians that are enforcing the political ethnic cleansing rules. I'm going to say for their ruling elite, because these are the ruling elite. They live like kings. They are ruling elite. They are ruling elite. These are not the police officers. They are the cause. They are a major cause. They are the source for, uh, in Slovenian language, we say, družbene bolezni. Raznašalci družbenih bolezni. To je policija slovenska. They are a carrier. They are a carriers of social diseases within Slovenia. And these social diseases in Slovenia, these are not the some form of corrective action, as I have stated against the natives. But we have police officers who profile us natives. When they step out of the car, he will look at you how you look. Whether you are blonde, whether you are blue-eyed, whether you look like a native here from Slovenia, or what is it you are. And we will then continue to have a dialogue, or we will even enforce the justice. This is like a typical street stuff that goes on in Slovenia, based on what he will, you know, we, in whichever way his police department is enforcing ethnic cleansing procedure. Usually it's like the opposite way or whatever. But in Slovenia, we have it exactly the way I have explained to you. We have a police, we have a natives, we have natives born here in Slovenia who are nothing other than homeless dogs barking, craving for their owners, masters from Belgrade, from Moscow. And in their age, they just don't know what the fuck to do to get back to their masters. We don't have a police officers. We have a criminals. We have a career criminals. Private assassins employed, private military, private assassins employed. Who had a hard time convincing people on what corrective action is, on what the society should look like, and with their criminal deeds, which are clearly not bordering on ethnic, on ethnic cleansing, but they, are, they clearly are enforcing ethnic cleansing. This is what we have in Slovenia. We don't have a normal police. We have a politicians, criminals, career criminals who enforce crime. And in my case, yes, they demanded from me. They told me. Every police officer who was involved in this, Slovenian police officer, every apparatchik from Slovenia, okay, every slovenski policaj, vsak slovenski policisti spostaje novo mesto, pa tudi policisti iz drugih enot Slovenije. Gnoji v slovenskih policijskih uniformah, ki ste trdili, da mi ne boste mogli pomagati, če bom zavračal politike oziroma obsojal politične elite, katere, proti, katerih, proti, proti katerim ste podpihovali, ko so bile to tuje, elite, politiki, Podarili ste pa še posebej, če bom šel proti Milanu Kučanu ali Bortu Pahru, zelo podarek pa ste dejali na svoje gnoje, lastnike Belgradske, Vladimirja Putina, Aleksandra Vučiča in ostale gnoje iz Belgrada, Ljubljane in Moskve. 
zaradi tega, ker ste gnoji, zaradi tega, ker ste gnoji, katerih lastniki so tisti, katere ljudje gledamo po televiziji. Zato ste te govorili, ne zato, da bi hoteli, oziroma, da ne bi mogli pomagati, ampak natančno, zaradi česar sem omenil, zaradi tega, ker ste sami gnoji, zaradi tega, ker ste njihova lastnina, pa ne bom rekel njihova lastnina, ampak zaradi tega, ker ste toliko gnoji, kot ker so oni gnoji. They frequently accented to me during MKH and talk about the Slovenian police throughout the Slovenia. Nobody more than police here in Nova Mesto, all the directors, their substitutes, their investigators, and the police officers involved in this extermination procedure. They all accented to me how, well, you know, you're not supposed to talk against the foreign elites. You're not supposed to talk against the foreign politicians. You're not supposed to stick your nose into the foreign politicians. That's exactly what you're not supposed to do because then you make our job very difficult because we come under the pressure. And the foreign politicians, the foreign elites, they sure did assist them. Even with the people from United Nations, even the people from United, from Amnesty International from the European Court for Human Rights, from the Brussels politicians, from Germany, Italian, and other politicians, from nowhere more than from England, from Britain, from London. But really, the whole thing was centered to protect the local dunk, whom I already have mentioned you. All the police investigators, police officers who were out there to help all the accident was help. Nobody mentioned anything about the torture or anything like this. That's a funny thing. How come the fuck you talk up so much about the help, but you never talked about the torture? Why you never mention about the torture when it was 95% of the time during MK Ultra there was a torture related stuff? How come the fuck you you did not you did not talk about the torture, but you only talk about the help and saving me? And the more that you were trying to save me, the more difficult the things were becoming. The accent was to save, not save, but the accent to me was that they could not save me. This is what all the police officers accent said. We cannot save you, we cannot save you, especially if you will talk against Ljubljana politicians, Bharat Pahor, Milan Kuchan. Vladimir Putin, Alexander Vucic, and so on. How come? Why? Because we're the police officers. You don't know what kind of pressure they do on us. Wonder we are another, under such a pressure and so on, under such a pressure. Let me explain to you something. This is a total recall, this is a revolt against you at the Novo Mesto police station as a police. You're not a police. You are Milan Kuchan. Every fucking one of you is Milan Kuchan. You are Borut Pahor. Every fucking one of you is Borat Pahor. You understand? You talk about the political pressure. How come the fuck you were not pressured by me? Doing my job. Doing my stuff. Trying to stay alive. I don't have to answer you this question. You are under no pressure because you alone were the people that were involved in this stuff. You alone are indifferent. You are part of Milan Kuchan. You are Milan Kuchan. This is what you are. You are Belgrade. You are Moscow and nothing changed. This is your corrective action, whatever you call this, for which you had no, absolutely no right to. Torture. Abductions, hijacking. They are a job of the traffic police officers and investigators to hijack people and subject them to the physical torture using private citizens. Using private citizens to transport individual that is hijacked from his home. Or your private vehicles, private cars. This is this is not this is not going in your job descriptions. Or I should say description of job duties. 
You were doing this because you wanted to protect your own ass. You wanted to have some kind of dialogue. You wanted to steal and you wanted to kill. And you wanted to kill through the theft, through the steal, basically. This is what you wanted. And so this is, this is why the video, the video is to acknowledge you basically for what you are. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you a classic police stuff, the way it's done, the way it was done. And if you read that stuff, why this kind of stuff was done, this is exactly how it was done. Uh, Robert Golob, that's a Slovenian prime minister. That's basically a baby that sucked from Milan Kuchan tits since his childhood. Uh, had a special kind of principle. And his principle was such that he would just demand from other accomplices he had to do just whatever I would say during MK Ultra. We're going to do whatever you say. You will guide us. No, I will not guide you. I don't want to have nothing to do with it. Yeah, we, you selected you. You're our leader. You're going to guide us. We're going to go to walk and this or that, and you're going to guide us. And what they did in this case is they would take me to this grass. Uh, and obviously, if you go through the grass in the early mornings, you're going to have all shoes wet, especially if you go along the river. And knowing from what I demonstrated you, what they were going to use, you know, as a, as a s sort of punishment or corrective action, right? That's a corrective action. I mean, these people, uh, you got to understand. That's why I really, really pride myself with this video. When I explain to you since my childhood, basically, how... The Slovenian scum got the idea for this type of psychiatric killing. Physical, literally psychiatric. This was a psychiatric that went into the full motion physical injuries. Infliction of the physical injuries. They always got, the first thing they always got, they always got approval from me. They always got the approval from me. It was always about what you think. The first thing they did is they did the brainwash. Once they brainwash, and they heard that from my mouth, and they obviously they video recorded and audio recorded this stuff, uh, that's when they would proceed to enforce something that was blatantly evident was just really injuries, basically a repeated injuries, something that you see elderly people severely suffer from and so on. Uh, and, and it was a different in this case. It was totally, totally different in this case. Robert Golop with Alex Berger here, son from Miroslav Berger and Alenka Berger. Uh, he was the one who was completely insane about this stuff. And so I told him, well, why, why don't we just go through here and so on and say, they say, well, you're going you're gonna to get wet and this and that. Uh, and... I know that if you if you if you properly walk also that you might not necessarily get wet whatever and I was drugged up this stuff went on all dude in my being drugged up so uh, they repeated this stuff agitated and repeated that stuff with other stuff that went on uh, till I till the Robert Golop started to insist he is doing this kind of stuff it, it took about three times that we would go back, that they would take us back, and they changed themselves socks and so on. And he said that he's doing this kind of stuff to hurt us. Now, uh, the truth is that I would do anything I possibly could do to get these people hurt. I didn't want to be anywhere near them. Uh, I didn't want to have anything to do with them. I rejected them. And it, it, I mean... Um, as it clearly states what these people have done to me, what these people were up to since my early childhood, since my age one, why the fuck would I go and embrace them and start to take care of them and watch over them? Uh, they knew, of course, that I hate them. 
There was, there was no secret about it. Uh, but what's interesting is they wanted me to take initiative in taking them where they knew they warned me that they would get wet, we would get wet and so on, so that they could acknowledge that I'm doing this deliberately. And once they did this, as I did took them into the, into the high grass till they got wet, then they would repeat with me the stuff what you are about to see in the video for the next 30 years. That's what's interesting about this, with uh, intention to cause as much in injuries to my feet, to my legs, as much as possible. Trust me, walking even 70 kilometers in a totally wet shoes, 10, 20 kilometers, uh, being tortured through Shmarieshka to Plitsa, Druzhinska Vas, Shentyernei, Dobrava and so on, in this entire area, time and again, time and again, time and again, Shkotsyan, this is not a fun thing to do, and if you want to do 20, 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers a day, in a totally wet shoes all day long, uh, every physician will tell you this is very, very, very unhealthy practice. Now, do you know what they did? They sit in the car, they went home, they changed your shoes, like I told you, we did this like for three times. And then it was only myself who would continue to do this. If they ever got their shoes, they would take care of themselves, change shoes, whatever. They always had cars. They always had cars. And what they would do is they would have somebody that would deliver them in clean shoes, socks, whatever. Uh, they were never alone. This was a preferred fishing spot of Robert Golop of dear Robert Golop and also Milan Kuchan also loved to hang around there. Let me demonstrate you this fishing spot. Let me demonstrate you this fishing spot. At the end of this video I present you with this fishing spot. It takes place. Most of you, most <clears throat> So the guys like you, they execute. That's the. That's first why thing. this video is so it's essential to me. That's why this That's video is so, so, so important to me because it. They did this um, in Romania. I took time to. This. Ah uh, yes, uh, I took time. It's like a little lagoon here, and this is what the Robert Golob was crazy about. This, this lagoon here. See this. Love to go fish stealing basically because the Robert Golob did never need a fishing license. Robert Golob was always trust negost zemilanom kuchanom nareki karki. Uh, right there this was his, yeah, my father was the one literally who tutored him, teached him and others how to fish. I told you about how my father hosted all kinds of people here and before uh, on a fishing trips Kuchan was just one of them uh, I wouldn't even mention Golob and others there were so many people that he had hosted that they were, these were, these were just some people so um, here's a story uh, about exactly how the police started to destroy my legs. And there's one more thing that I have to say to you, um, which was classic and it pertained to absolutely every other fucking issue. Whatever they did to me, whatever, was it with the teeth uh, or was it with, um, with the lymph nodes, play with the lymph nodes or with the skin cancer, which I use even the ink from the pens. Uh, to cover my body with during the hiking trails. That was like super fucking impressive when I had a neighbor, Andre Ull, literally covering my body with, uh, with, uh, <laughs> that's incredible, covering my body with, uh, with the ink from the pants. Uh, uh, the accent was on the clothing. Since 1990, Milan Kuchan became interested in, uh, 
cancer, skin cancer issues. It became of a big interest to him. Uh, clothing. How about the clothing? What about the clothing? Uh, washing the clothing and stuff like this. Uh, the paint for, uh, from the clothing, fabric. Um, every issue, for every issue, they killed me. And they accented to me this stuff. They always kill at the beginning. Therefore, at the beginning already, they cause so much damage, so much harm. And they attack on absolutely throughout absolutely every issue. And simultaneously, it's psychiatry that is enforced. Therefore, they, in, they continue to enforce the paranoia uh, while threatening with the psychiatry if you would dare to resist their physical violence. So yes, they give themselves astronomical advantage. Once this advantage becomes permanent, then they start to fuck with you, watching you basically how you are seeking out their alternatives basically to stay alive for every fucking harm they cause you. That's why this video is so essential, so, so important, and I claim groundbreaking. From this moment on, I no longer consider Nova Mesta police as a police of any kind they are apparatchiks, it's a military of assassins, of murderers. And I will consider you folks at the Novo Mesto police station as such. I will go with you and will follow up the police protocol of meeting and submitting complaint. Just as is written, supposed to be. But I will treat you as the enemy of the worst kind. I will treat you, in fact, as I accent at the end of this video, as those who should be upon the Slovenian independence trialed, are some of you executed, while others imprisoned. This is what you were, this is what you are, and this is what you shall be for eternity as far as I'm concerned. That much about the truth you have. A madness, anger. Milan Kocan wanted to choke me, kill me. He wanted to choke me, literally. This man was insane. After I completed the education for mechanical engineering technician 91, this man wanted to choke me. He wanted to fucking kill me. Choke me, literally choke me. Not just kill me, but choke me. This man was insane. He was... He was completely... When he saw, when, when he would see me, he could not stand me. I mean, he would just, he just wanted to fucking kill me, basically, as soon as he would see me. The hatred is impossible to explain. This is like a ramp. Um, it would go under here, take me there. The ramp was always here, I remember. Uh, the ramp always was here. Yeah, they sometimes took the ramp down, but otherwise the ramp was here. I remember the ramp. The police was all over this place here. This is near a torchets. So now you got to see, sometimes they would take me through here. But mostly it was through there. And it turned out into a really, really, really heavy abuse. Every fucking day, every morning before they would take me for a hiking known as a attention dead man walking that's basically a torture killing brain killing trauma from house to house where people would terrorize death threaten the first thing they would do is and this would last entire day long they would make me walk through the grass in the morning it would always take me in the mornings in the early mornings and the grass was covered with the water you know it's covered you know in the mornings or also i don't know how you say that and so the the first thing they would do is they will make my shoes fucking soaking wet first they demonstrated me the path yeah that was the first thing they did they demonstrated me a path they demonstrated me that pad right there. 
And then what they did is they started to kill with issue of condensed uh, humidity basically overnight water which in Slovenia where I'm from next to the river like this even if you walk like this you know just along this thing like this if you walk like this in a moment you have a wet shoes it's like soaking soaking wet now all it takes basically to step in the grass and you're wet completely socks inside everything and you're talking about the hiking sometimes all the way even to Sevnica that's and back that's about 70 kilometers And in between a terror, brain killing, trauma basically issues. It's a very, very scenic, beautiful, beautiful place. The only thing that's pointing basically one is this road up there. My preferred method, I, I always liked the nature and stuff was always through here. And the police came up with a different idea. And you can see all this. You, you see how it's all, uh, how it's everything. It's covered with, a, with, a, with that, uh, you know, with the spines and so on. They made a path that went right through here. And that was probably here that was a path. I think there was another path that went right through here probably and the result of that path was I'm gonna demonstrate you it would take me right there did you see that tree right there a little further over there on the right side of that tree that's very very idyllic place for fishing um, this was uh, bothering because it had thorns, the, what is it, raspberries, wild raspberries and so on. Uh, now the worst part is that the path that I demonstrated you ends over there, somewhere here. And then there is a grass like this, as you can see, it's white because of the water on one. There's so much water on it, you know, sp mornings especially. And so what they would do is they would continue in the mornings to, to walk me right through the grass. They would walk me. So I was fucking soaking wet. It was soaking wet, like socks inside everything. I was floating before we would even start walking. From here to Seonitsa, I'm, I don't know, 60 kilometers, something like that. So imagine yourself sometimes at five o'clock in the morning with 60 more kilometers to go with the shoes completely, completely wet. This is where they would go fishing. Robert Golop loved this place here. This is where he, they would go and they would young calls and so on, company, and they would go, they would eat, treat themselves here good, enjoy here. And in between with a with whatever I was proceeded with the police and then they would catch up sometimes drive around and so on having a really good time picnics that's where they would fish right there in this uh, in this location here this shit went on until I actually, I couldn't take it no more, but I did go for several years.
till I, I started to revolt myself. And they couldn't hide anymore about what they were doing to my legs, to my feet. And they finally had to stop this practice. Talking about the police, police investigators, police, no means to police. Uh, but they didn't stop. They didn't stop with it. They would take me through the path that I demonstrated you. Uh, and they would still make, this is interesting, because several occasions I paid very close attention so that I would not get wet when I went through this grass. This remained their assignment. And when I didn't get wet, when I would go through the grass, because it started like this, they were bullying me about where to go and this and that. This was the first lesson from Milan Kuchan. I objected him to go through that route. I wanted to cut through and go. I was drugged up. It's a normal thing that, you know, you want, you just want to escape basically whatever. And the first lesson was soaking wet shoes, socks with all day in front of you walking. It's impossible to explain a pain the, the foot, the feet, everything and damage done to the feet. But this is what Milan Kuchan was doing with me beginning 1991. This practice stopped in 97, finally, with still will be a police that would take me for a walk through the area that was less wet. Yeah, but they would still enforce this practice while not as wet that my feet would float inside of the shoes they continue to do this practice even if I if it was a dry day or whatever and I somehow managed to avoid this they would take me through the grass they would check my shoes I realized and you're talking about 2000 and all the way 2005 2010 2015 I caught the police all these years they were making sure that my shoes are wet. Just as it all started with the Milan Kuchan, it was an order they had to fulfill. And if the shoes were not wet, they would make me walk wherever the grass was wet, wherever there was water. And then we again proceeded. This is a novel mess of police, if you want to know how they do the job, how they do the stuff, and for whom they worked. I am 100% that they they, uh, they claim that they don't want to have nothing to do with the politic. We don't want to have nothing to do with the politic. If you're going to talk about the politic, you make things difficult for us. Well, the thing is, they're not a police. It's a scum. It's a scum. It's a scum. It's not a police. This is not a police. They're not even prisoners. It's a scum. It's a filth. It's a human field is what it is. It's not a police. They're not even prisoners. It's a scum. They don't want to have nothing to do with the politics, they claim. We don't want to have nothing to do with the culture. We don't want to have nothing to do with the culture. If you're going to talk with the politics, it's going to be very difficult for us to resolve. No, 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 no. You are Kuchan. You are Milan Kuchan. You are Borut Pahor. You are scum. You are filth. You are what in other countries use to grease tanks with. The first thing they do in other countries when they liberate themselves from the scum like yourself, they make sure they make you go to courts. Then it's the execution parts that takes place. Most of you, most of the guys like you, they execute. That's the first thing. It's a prison execution. That's a part number one before democracy starts. They did this in Romania. They did this in Poland. They did this in Czech Republic, in Germany. They did this everywhere. In every fucking country, they did this. This isn't about me talking about the politics. This is about who you are. You're the novel master police. This is about you. This is about Milan Kuchan. This is about you, scum.
Well, that's actually a tractor right there. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate you as you go back like this what exactly that looks like if let's see yeah you can see one now better he's got a long lights obviously it's a daytime and these lights are exactly positioned like this in a direction so yeah you're not gonna miss this one that's for sure he is parked right here next to the restaurant just like this but I don't think it's gonna do him good like this. I just video recorded some rather unpleasant stuff for the police. So I'm still going backwards right now. Oh, you see how he's moving. Where the fuck are you going now like this? Uh, this is another mess of police enforcing this kind of stuff. Uh, just before this, it was a truck here that would come also. Is that gonna turn here? No? Right here. Moo moo was a moo moo, just as I was told it's gonna be. Moo moo, yogurt, moo moo. This was from the novel Mast of Police Investigators. I doubt this is gonna do them any good. That's a petrol station right there behind. We don't have a police officers at Novo Mesto police station. We have Milan Kuchans working in there. So they can even say, my name is such and such. The truth is, their name is Milan Kuchan, each and every one of them. These are a politicians. These are not a police officers. And they are sworn in as a police officers to perform crime on behalf of communist pro-Yugoslav pro-Serbian elite. This is the way it works. On my way up uh, hill, I uh, met uh, a mental patient, uh, Romana, who was with me inside of the psychiatric hospital, she was, she was climbing up with uh, her father. Uh, that's interesting, maybe. Uh, the tractor was not the only attraction that day. Uh, then it was a couple uh, uh, with a third biker that also simulated a stunt from MKUltra with the psychiatrist Peter Kovsch, which they rehearsed over and over and over again. Uh, insisting me on how it will be a psychiatric hospital and so on. This is when I descended. And so what you're about to see next, uh, just in front of the house, which is basically right when I came home, uh, there was a fire, uh, fire rescue, Gasilci vehicle that passed right past me. Uh, so the tractor was not the only thing and this is something that Slovenian police continues to do, however not at my amusement. When it comes to young people involved, which I demonstrated you on a video earlier testing their cars in Ljubljana, uh, you can imagine how disgusted I am with, uh, not with what I fought, you know, a scum like this is not going to prove me wrong. Obviously, they live lives detached completely from reality, uh, in world of their own, doing the stuff that matters to them, uh, covering up reality uh, for all the unhappy people, for all the people that are fucked from day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but, yeah, it kind of angers me when we have a people like this inside of the country that... I had to pay bills for the scum like this to be in the same country as I am. It does anger me. Uh, to me, this does look like emergency. To me, it, this does cause for a measures 
which I suggested I'm going to take in this video. And that type of behavior, this youth have displayed in Ljubljana, and it's not about this youth only, it's about the youth in general, it is totally disrespectful. And it's like positioning themselves in lines of some kind of normality or normal. Uh, even, I'm going to say, royals or billionaires or millionaires or people who live uh, lives out of this planet. The problem is, it was an entire country that was involved in this genocide procedure. No, I'm not doing for the shit like this, stuff like that. Uh, if somebody will convince me that it was worth it to go through stuff like this, for the shit like that, uh, you're never going to convince me about that. Yeah, this is a fire, man. Another provocation right here. I doubt it's doing any good to them. The core criminal for this was this guy here that you see here. His name is uh, Robert Golok, uh, Golop. And this is apprentice of Milan Kuchan. Uh, I was told even a schoolmate he was of Borut Pahor at one point. This individual, Borut Pahor right here, and this individual here. Milan Kuchan. This is this is the guy who loved him like his son. Uh, he loved Robert Golov like his son, and Tanya Fayon like his daughter, and maybe also this guy like his son. These are all his sons. This was the guy who wanted wanted me dead at all costs and who enforced genocide procedure against me this one here the procedure that i described using the shoes using the water from rosa uterine rosa uh, from the grass this was literally his deal this is this is what he demanded will be from him personally from him that's what he demanded